Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to my daily chat. This is episode number 700. And I thought because it's a milestone, I'd do something different. So the topic today is um, the, my journey so far and what I've learned. I figured I'd share some inspiration, insights, and experience for the last 700 broadcasts. So welcome to my broadcast, episode 700. Before I get jump into the topic and explain what I think I'm going to talk about, <laughs> let me choose myself and let you know more about who I am, what I'm about. Um, my name is Barry Selby. I'm a best-selling author, inspirational speaker, and a passionate champion for the divine feminine. I help women create balance in love, life, and business, which is what inspires my work with my clients, and also inspired these talks over two years ago called Messages for the Masculine Inspiring Your Feminine Heart, which nowadays are abbreviated to MFTM to be easier to make room, room for more title. And the title again today, and this is episode 700, so 700 broadcasts under my belt. And the topic today is um, my journey so far and what I've learned. And I've been reflecting a little bit on these talks recently because I've noticed how my work's been shifting. And that's really what I want to talk about is, let me back up a second, I'm jumping ahead. Having done 700 broadcasts, there's been a definite shift. Um, and the reality is for these talks is that they've always been really for me, to be honest. I've, I've done these talks for me because they were my way of getting out of the way and letting content come through that makes me feel more aligned to what I'm doing. In fact, what I'm aware of is by doing these talks every day, I become more um, aligned with and committed to my work than I would have done without it. It's easy to get distracted in this world. I'm very aware of that. I get distracted a lot of times too easily. But having this to come back to every single day, every day coming back to this broadcast, is probably my best self-discipline tool I've got. Yeah, seriously. So for me, it's a very selfish act to do this broadcast every day because it puts me in a place where I become more available to serve, to inspire, and to offer my support. Um, I don't have clients every day. And when I have clients, which is awesome, I love working with them. But in between this, there's, there's some room to play. And so this daily commitment is really shifting that and keep that in line for me in more ways than I can count. So that's one thing that's going on. Secondly, by doing these talks every day, I've gone deeper inside my own awareness of my focus, my message, my purpose work than I've ever done before. Or I haven't done the other way. I first started doing these talks back in 2016 after the election to really speak up for how I felt women were being treated during that election of 2016, which I'm sure you will remember. And in fact, my first few broadcasts were done um, <laughs> randomly and occasionally and sporadically um, basically by um, whatever, whenever the, the inspiration hit me and I would just pull over on my, I mean two or three talks were done from my bicycle where I just pulled over sweating and dripping and, and um, overheated and just did the talk right there. Um, it was after about 10, 15 talks that I started to make it more focused and actually sit down and make them intentionally which is why now it's more regular and that's why the, the background's pretty much more consistent most of the time. But I didn't plan on doing 700 broadcasts. <laughs> I was doing a couple of talks just to get the message out there. And just to give you some history before that, I had been fairly avid um, active user on Periscope before that, which is basically Twitter's version of um, Facebook Live in a way. And at the time, when I first started with Facebook Live, I didn't want to do it much because the framework that Facebook created was pretty weak at the time. In fact, at uh, that time, Periscope was a much more well-built, functional app and it had more connections. However, Facebook's been my home since I got on social media back in 2007. So it's always what I wanted to play. This journey that I've been on has really moved me to a place where my message has shifted. Again, at the beginning of my talks for the first few, first five, 10 talks was really about inspiring women to take charge, to lead in the world, to make a difference, which really was what was on my mind after the election, as I said. Then I moved into a whole series of talks that are really about the work I've been doing, including stuff from my book and my coaching about love and relationships, which I've done many talks about that over the last two years, that really help people get some reference and understanding about how to be better in relationship with each other and themselves. That last part, however, has become more core to what I'm doing now than ever before. The last few weeks, partly yes, because I created a program, but actually I was talking to a friend of mine today. Um, the self-love guided meditation that I created and the new course that I'm just starting, just leading, just starting, just launching rather, called Coming Home to Yourself, happened because of my Facebook Lives. 
absolutely happened because of that. So I've had this recognition that the gifts that these talks have given me, then I get to give to you because they're, they're products I create for my audience, have been beyond measure. I would never plan these things. And in fact, just to speak to that for a moment, um, my work has been shifting as well. Not just the products I've been creating, the, the, the content deliverables, and I'll put links for both of those in the contents, sorry, I'll put links for both of those in the comments so you can check them out for yourself. But also, it really has distilled for me what I talk about with my clients. Um, if I've been looking at how to do some new videos for my website because of the talks I've done here, have inspired me to be a different, have a different presentation when I get to my um, marketing videos. So that's worked out that way too. But what's been happening is more and more is that in my work with my clients over the last several years, the common denominator I always got to, which has become more of my front end message now, is how do you take better care of yourself first before anything else? Because for many of my clients when I was working with over the years, there's always been this thing about, it was something about them, about the other person, that guy, that relationship, that thing that happened that made me feel this, what that really was. And all the work I was doing, most of the work I was doing with my clients was to come back to helping them really come back to themselves. So in a way, what I've been finding is my message has been shifting more and more out of being le at beyond or additive to helping my, helping my female clients attract amazing relationships to helping my clients, my female clients become more whole, more self-supportive and more self-embracing so they can be more effective in the world in all areas of life, which is why my message has been shifting as my introduction, saying how I help women create balance in love, life and business, rather than saying help women attract amazing relationships, because that was how I talked about it months ago. So this series of talks, now at number 700, which is kind of a milestone, which is why I'm doing this talk, has been a, a um, awakening to a deeper message for me and a deeper deliverable to my clients, because now I'm less now I'm more visible and less and more transparent with my clients because this is really the core of my work. It's been interesting, to say the least. Doing these Facebook Lives, and it's funny because I've now done, th I've been in three different Facebook Live challenges which I surpassed beyond the number of talks they offered in the challenges. And it's interesting to watch how the marketing about that happens. These talks aren't necessarily about me marketing my skills. If anything, they're more about me teaching something and sharing inspiration to whoever watches this. So if you're watching this now, well, if, if you're watching this, no, you are watching this because you're seeing this now. <laughs> if you're not watching this, you wouldn't even know I'm talking about this. So yeah, <laughs> it's like, if you're watching this, that's so redundant. You are watching this. So it's there to, this is intention, intended to help you have more love, more joy, more celebration in your life. The marketing part, I haven't put any energy into. However, gifts keep showing up. I've been on several summits because of my broadcast here. I've had several clients come to me because of the work I do here. And I've really felt an inspiration that's changed my life for the better. So selfishly, yes, selfishly, doing these talks, sharing these messages, being a persistent and punctual Facebook liver every day has changed my life. And it's also changed the way I present to the world. In fact, what I've discovered through the benefit of doing this as, as a self-awareness is that what I write about in my in my uh, programs, the, the two I just launched, and in the work I do, it's gotten clearer to explain what I'm about. And that's been very powerful and thankfully relieving too. So it's been good. The, the other part of that is I found myself having much more fun when I do live interviews and other conversations because I don't need to study or practice anything before I do the talk. I just had an interview that I, I showed it on my Facebook page two days ago. I did a live interview that was aired a couple of days ago and then another one did last week that were not scripted or, pre or prepared or anyway. They were just like, just jump in and do it. Because I know after 700 broadcasts <laughs> that I've got resource to pull from. And selfishly, I'm grateful for that, honestly, truthfully. Um, so simply, this broadcast is really a, it's a mile marker, so to speak. It's a number 700, so I wasn't planning on teaching anything particularly this time. But I am aware, or and I am aware that this has been a 
an eye opener for me. It's been a it been a powerful reminder and a a challenge at times because at times I've also wondered, okay, so what am I going to talk about today? You know, seven hundred broadcasts. I didn't have a topic in my head every single time I did them. In fact, quite a few times that it, it'd be five, it'd be quarter to five, sometimes five to five, and I'd be going, hmm, what am I going to talk about today? So sometimes the topics were last minute. Yet every time I did a Facebook Live, something of value came through. And for that, I am extremely grateful and humbled, <laughs> very much humbled. So really what I wanted to do in this broadcast was, again, to share some of my journey, my, my learning along the way. Not necessarily say that you should be doing it yourself, but to say that... Hang on a second, what do I want to say? <laughs> For one thing, I have enjoyed having the connection with community people who watch my broadcast and people interact and respond and type in the comments and things like that. That's been very rewarding and very gratifying. Yes, I'm grateful I've created these products and programs that came out of my talks. Again, I put links to those two in the comments. But also, it's been a really good reminder that what I have to give has value because I have Every broadcast gets some number of likes and comments and views, which is humbling and wonderful. It's also, for me, the touchstone into my work. I'm continuing. I'm not going to stop. I'm not stopping yet. I, I've got more. To, I know there's more coming too, because it, to be honest, it's kind of a routine. As I mentioned earlier, this is what keeps me on track in my work and in my mission by doing these talks every day. So I'm going to continue doing them. Um, I've had some feelings about some vents that come, some venting talks that are going to come up. We'll see when those happen, because the things that happened recently that just really just didn't make sense, like really triggered me. But today, I just want to just talk about this as a simple. Um, first of all, thank you for watching. Thank you for those of you who watch, for commenting, for interacting, for sharing out my broadcasts. I really am grateful for those of you who've done that over the last seven hundred broadcasts. We're going to keep going. Um, and secondly, I hope this bit. I. I I trust there's been value for you when you've been watching that. It's something that I'm finding very, as I said, important for me to do as part of my own connection to my work and my message. And at the same time, and at the same time, there's content coming through me that has yet to be taught, which is why it keeps coming through. So, what do I need to say? My passion, my work, my service in this and what's come through this is really helping you learn how to love yourself more, to be a better lover of yourself, a lover of other people, to have amazing relationships, but also to become a more self-supportive person. And that's, that's really what my work's come to now. And who knows what next happens in the next, next 500 broadcasts or 700 broadcasts, we'll see. But I'm grateful for the opportunity and I'm thankful for having the technology as simple as it is to have, a mic, you know, to have a microphone and, and a phone and tripod and lights and everything to do these talks and Facebook Live and an internet and everything else that provides this. So this has been interesting. I wouldn't say it's a thought experiment, but it's certainly been an experiment of some sort. So having said all that, I want to thank you for watching, for watching today's broadcast. I know it's not my usual content-rich teaching that's going on today, but I will, put, again, put the links in the comments for the two products that I was mentioning because they are relevant and they came from these talks. And, uh, and also let you know how you can find me. So this is my daily broadcast that I do every day, usually much more sp topic specific, not just a self-reflection, but I had a milestone here, so I thought I'd play with it. Um, so if you want to watch my normal broadcasts, catch me regularly every day at 5 p.m. Pacific time on my personal page on Facebook, which is facebook.com forward slash Barry Selby. The replays of all my previous broadcasts, which you can watch, which have more, much more content in them. You can find on my business page on Facebook, which is Barry Selby, the author. And also my YouTube channel, which is Barry Silby. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And the playlist in there is called Messages from the Masculine. Um, I appreciate you watching. I appreciate you being part of my journey. And I appreciate you learning and taking things from what I share that might help you have a better love life. So for that, I am grateful to you. Grateful for myself for being here for doing this. And I'll be back in tomorrow for number 701. And that, I think, will be much more topic relevant. So thank you for watching. I'll see you again tomorrow. Take care. Bye.